Hello guys, welcome to QHSC Concepts Welding and Entity channel. And in this channel, we bring to you usually the welding quality related building videos. You must have seen a lot of videos which I have come up with from SysWip to AWS to all those uh, other kind of uh, quality related videos and also health and safety related videos we are coming up with. So today, as I already promised to you in the SysWip chapters, I have brought to you a weld audit uh, chapter. I mean, a video on weld audit, how to do weld audit and why it is important to do weld audit because we are doing welding, uh, we are doing PQR, then the PQR is being used by hundreds of welders. Whether that welders are doing accurate job, how accurately they are doing the job, whether their heat input, travel speed, and a current voltage setting is all matching the PQR requirement or not. To check that, the only way is to do weld audit. So, in my site, um, I have given the target to QC inspectors. They must do each QC inspector must do at least three to at least two to three weld audits per day. So, you, you can imagine if I have 10 inspectors or 15 inspectors. I will have at least 50 weld audits done every day on different different uh, processes. And all this goes to the welding engineer. He reviews the weld audit report and we keep this as a copy. And whether the client asks or not, we are doing this to so that the client will get some assurance that in this site welding is taken seriously and the quality is also very high. So let us go how to do this. You can also implement this in your site. And it is a very easy process and you can see this uh, format and you can use this format as well. So let's go about it. There is a well audit report. You can see that the job number, date, project number, whatever you can write here, day shift, night shift, location, which area, then the welder, welder ID, then the process, SMAW, GTAW, FCAW, SAW, then what WPS number you can write here. Welder is qualified, yes, of course. Structural piping you can choose. Then the weld joint details, you can write the drawing number here. Weld position, you can write what position is welding. Joint number, and you can write what material we are in. this case, we are using S460 ML. So this is a high grade material, difficult to weld. Type of the joint, single weave, but weld joint. So all these details you can put here. Welding consumable, we are using Tmax, uh, then uh, EA8016G. You can see the batch number is written and the size of the electrode is also written. So it is very, very detailed and methodic. So what actual layer we are checking here is root pass. Then uh, of course, uh, with this, I am also putting a video so that you will know exactly how to do this. So we are checking the amperage voltage when he, the welder is starting to weld. And you can see here DC electrode negative. Why? Because we are welding root pass and 7016, 16 are can be welded in uh, negative also and they give high penetration. And once that is over, then we are switching it to electrode positive. So this WPS range you need to write first and then compare to that what you got exactly when you measured that you need to write here. Then you need to write the welding machine, whether it is calibrated, what is the due date, oven, if he's using any oven, quiver temperature. So here we are using vacuum packed electrodes. So there is no mention of any oven uh, or uh, requirement. So then all parameters were within the limit. Yes, we have cal cal uh, calculated the heat input and uh, kilojoules also, and it is as per the limit. So the welding engineer has signed here as reviewed. And here you can see welding foreman and also welding QC, both are signing. Similarly, I have here GTAW. So here also you can see we have done uh, S355 material uh, welding, uh, and we have used uh, ESAB 1264, which is here. 70s6 in the electrode negative again and here we have done pass checking the hot pass so this is how the sample uh, weld audit report looks like now over to the uh, over to the uh, actual audit video there we will do more explanation Okay guys, so this is what we are going to use for uh, weld audit and this sheet has been discussed in uh, my earlier uh, uh, video. <clears throat> so this one we will use as you can see all this we have to fill up. Today the welding we have chosen to do the audit is on TIG welding GTAW and we will show you live uh, how the uh, whole process works. So my QC inspector Mr. Shiv, Shank, Shiv Shankar is uh, there on the site. He's 3, 3.1. 3 
So we'll first fill out the dates, job number, day shift, all this kind of things. You can, in fact, fill this in the office and come to the site. So we are going to do the piping uh, weld audit. So where you are doing the audit, that is very important. What is the welder ID? Very important. Then process, GTAW. And the WPS number, extremely important. You have to write there, yeah. Welder qualified, yes. Drawing number also we have to write so that we can trace the weld audit. Basically, we are doing it for the welding uh, section. So, we will uh, note down all the joint number, uh, drawing number so that if you are welding, uh, let's say, 100 joints, then you can at least show some welder. So, this is the welder ID, uh, ID card. You can see that the welder is qualified. Then this is where we post the WPS on site. So WPS must be posted on site always. So as you can see, this is the WPS uh, P003 we are going to use. This is the butt weld single V GTO uh, joint going to be welded. Uh, material is 5L, API 5L, P number 1 to P number 1, 2 inch schedule 80 is what is the PQR stands for and then of course the shielding gas is argon 99%. So we are expecting this uh, current and voltage travel speed to adhere to that. So this is the joint. So we are already welded almost to the root pass now. So we will be doing the further uh, you know weld audit on that. So we will allow the welder to weld on this joint and then measure the length of the joint he has welded and all this while during this time we will calculate the we will uh, measure the current voltage and then we will uh, calculate the heat input for this particular joint so base material grade astm 106 grade b that is the pipe grade so the, we have to check the consumable also the filler wire or what is the condition whether you're using the right filler wire for the WPS and that mark is there on the last wire uh, you need to check that condition everything you have to check because we are doing weld audit it means it has to be all around even even you can check the uh, PPE wearing by the welder should be of good quality if there is any torn or not good PPE you need to report that to safety so so first we let us fill up these uh, small small details then we will once we come to the current amperage we will then here we are noting down the batch number details and the consumable filler wire uh, details the diameter the AWS class batch number etc. So having done this now we, are, we will be checking the fill and cap. So that is the uh, electrode negative. So this is what now we will allow him to do welding. So the current we have to write down from the WPS here that what current we are welding that we need to write down from the WPS all the range we need to mention here one by one copying from the WPS. And this is the range we, the welder need to do welding within this range. So we will be checking them, checking him on uh, when he is doing the welding. So this kind of weld audit is very important and this shows that the welder skill and the welding done is at the very high quality and also you can prove if your welding is having any good quality, this is called as in process audit. And always do in process audit for welding, CNC cutting, so many things uh, we can do in process audit. You can even go and check the drawing uh, which is there on the shop floor. Okay, we call this as a drawing audit. So that also we can do. So one, I will come out with videos on each of these topics. Right now welding audit. So this we are using the Fluke uh, laser, temperature, uh, laser temperature monitor which is calibrated and this we are using going to use for checking the interpass temperature. So now the interpass is showing ambient temperature because we have uh, cooled our welding now. Then we will start that welding. We, we need to check all the amperage. This is a fluke tester, tong tester we call. 
or we call multimeter as well. But uh, here in this case is a different kind of multimeter. You will see uh, this is a ampere edge uh, we can put on voltage amperes settings and simply we have to open the tong or we can even take the reading through the red and black cable. All we have to do is insert the cable inside the welding uh, positive and negative terminals and it will give a reading. So, it is already calibrated and uh, the calibration is very very important. So, here we will measure what length he is supposed to weld and allow him to weld. So, we have the start stop timer is on and this welding has started and you can see that he is going to start the welding from overhead position and he will go for to the 5G position. So, that is the position written. You can see the welder is welding very nicely and he is we have forwarded a little bit. While he is doing that we are calculating the this is how the red and black terminals are inserted in the positive and negative and we are getting the feedback here in uh, terms of voltage and the same thing you can just turn on the knob to ampere and calculate the ampere or note the ampere. You can also do it by just wrapping around the tong to the cable. Usually this should be done as close to the welder as possible. So, if your welder is uh, welding in one place and the uh, welding machine is very far, make sure that you are doing it near the welder. So, temperature also we checked, we checked the calibration of the machine. Also, we need to check the flow of the gas. So, the flow meter we have to check very if whether it is working or not, what is the flow meter showing in this and whether we have to compare it with the uh, same with which we should get as per the PQR. So, our if, if 15 to 20 uh, you know uh, ppm we should get the same there almost. So, uh, as you can see that the overall travel speed is ok, the volts is within the range, ampere also we got within the range. So, no problem little bit on the higher side, but at least it, it is all, uh, within the range. So, organ purity we have to check the certificate and everything. So, this is the weld audit done. Now, it will go to the weld uh, uh, welding engineer and he will review this. So, what happens if you do not get this proper? So, you need to tell him to grind that weld and re to restart that uh, joint how much he has welded. So, if it is failed then obviously, you need to re weld the